We just got some more information regarding Path of Exile 2. Game director Mark Roberts in this video explains how grinding gear games philosophy is when it comes to making bosses for Path of Exile 2. So in this video, I'm going to do something different. We're going to play the whole video. So instead of hearing me blabbering, you could actually hear it from game director Mark Roberts. It's about a five minute video and he's going to explain and review everything that is boss related for up and coming early access release of Path of Exile 2 on November 15th. So I'm going to play that video for you. Like I said, it's about five minutes. And then after the video, I'm going to give you my little take on what we just saw. I think honestly making bosses in Path of Exile 2 is the most satisfying part of the job. It is so enjoyable from start to end. Um, even after it's gone out, it's satisfying. I think if I could choose to do anything all the time, full time, that would be the single thing. Bosses in Path of Exile 2 come about two major ways. Um, you obviously have the more traditional approach where you create a narrative uh, and you design a boss around that narrative. No noose this time. I'll remove your head myself! The second way, which I think is something that can be very unique and create some of the more interesting encounters is letting the creative genius of our artists do what they need to do. They can come up with something completely abstract um, and this is how you get some of the most awesome things because all of a sudden it can be something with a hundred tentacles or nine limbs or no limbs or a thousand teeth or none and obviously things that aren't even in my imagination. Well, a boss in Path of Exile 2 ultimately is the culmination of decades of experience, making hundreds if not thousands of bosses in its predecessor, taking all that knowledge together and puts it in a package that delivers the best of what could possibly be of boss encounters in an action RPG environment with bosses that are utilizing Souls-like mechanics. Despite the fact there's over 100 bosses and more to come, a lot more to come, every single boss fight is completely unique, hand animated from scratch. It is designed from scratch. It is balanced from scratch. And it doesn't reuse a single asset in our library or anything like that. One of the main challenges balancing boss fights in Path of Exile 2, especially compared to its predecessor, you have to, in a single attempt, reduce the boss from full life to zero in order to then progress through. Uh, if a player cannot defeat them now, then they're stuck. Which helps in many ways because it makes the bosses feel so much more satisfying to kill once you do overcome it and learn it. It is very, very important to us that Path of Exile bosses, mechanics, especially around telegraphing, feels fair to the user, uh, as opposed to them being cheated out of something when they happen to die. We want to make sure that hitboxes are accurate, and of course, when something hits you, it feels like it hits you. It ultimately makes it feel that much more satisfying when you kill it, and you feel that much more pride when you are able to overcome something difficult knowing that the game hasn't robbed you of this thing.
the end of the day, you want to see that healthy balance where some people are struggling and you want to see that moment, that secondhand moment where someone overcomes that challenge and is so happy for doing so. And so I'm looking forward to that. Wow. Amazing. The boss fights in PoE 2 look like they're going to be epic. Can't wait to get my hands on it. And I just want to highlight a couple of things that Mark mentioned in the video. And that is the fact that there's going to be over 100 bosses when early access of PoE 2 launches on November 15th. But the good news is it's not going to stop there. It looks like more and more and more bosses are going to be added. So that's unbelievable news. Um, I was already impressed with over 100 bosses, but the fact that they're mentioning there's going to be more to come, wow. Uh, and totally impressed with the fact that they don't reuse assets. That's a big one for me. I love the fact that they all look unique, which translates to the player base, because if the bosses are all unique, then the experience is new and unique. And there's nothing more satisfying than having that in a video game. There's nothing more annoying than having stale and repeated content over and over as you're progressing and playing through the game. So unbelievable, that's great. It's gonna be also very, I'm also gonna be very interested in seeing what the player feedback is with this change in the fact that you have one life to kill a boss and one life only. There's no more dying, respawning, and continuing to kill the boss like it is today in Path of Exile. You have one life. You don't kill him. The boss resets 100% health and you got to go at it again. So it's going to be very interesting to see how the player base is going to take that. And I love the fact, personally, in my opinion, I love the fact that Mark mentioned they want to make the boss encounters Souls-like. That is unbelievable. I personally love and played a lot of the Souls-like games, so I like that aspect of it because when something is challenging and you're dying over and over, there's that euphoria you get when you s surpass that challenge. That's what, I don't know, in my opinion, makes me want to play video games. So... I, I like that. We'll see the wider audience and the player base, how they take that and what their feedback is going to be. I'm going to be very interested to see how the player base takes that. I see why they were so adamant. For example, WASD. Why they are so adamant about putting that in the game and why they're communicating to everybody that, believe me, stick through it. And but you'll you'll never go back once you play with WASD. Point and click to move is going to be a thing of the past. I see why because they're making these boss encounters so epic that the player needs to be mobile and the agility and be able to shoot and move at the same time. So like it's all coming together. So it's going to be interesting how it translates in the game because at the end of the day that's where the rubber hits the road and that's where it's going to count the most and obviously how the player base take that and, and how they feel about it so it's going to be very interesting to see okay that'll do it everyone i just wanted to share this information with you on how bosses are made in path of exile 2 unbelievable this early access of poe 2 on november 15th is going to be um yeah it's exciting times ahead anyway Thanks for watching, everybody. If you can like, comment, and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. We'll hope to see you next time. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.